Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and today I want to tell you about the person that I really admire. When I grow up, I want to be a scientist. So, the person that I really admire is Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking is one of the most famous physicists in the world. He is also the author of the book, A Brief History of Time, which is one of the most best-seller books in the world for two reasons. Firstly, because of his reputation. reputation. <clears throat> Secondly, because of its abundance and unique contain. He specializes in a theory of time, and he focuses on unusual things occurs in the universe. The fusion that he explored with lots of scientists and also he discovered that the capability of radiating with a black hole and that made Stephen become one of the most talented physicists. That black hole can swallow the whole solar system. Luckily, it is very far from us. He had been through obstacles in life. He had a pneumonia after a surgery with his windpipe. Also, he had lost the ability to talk. Also, he had a neurological that stick him with a wheelchair. He works and communicates with people by a speech synthesizer that is attached to his wheelchair. I had an interest in science when I was six or seven years old. I knew him with a thought that he is the talented scientist. Being a person who is in love with science. So every day I update those latest science news. By that, the first time I know about Stephen Hawking is because that time I read the newspaper. Like I said above, I really like science. So become a fan of him is a normal sin. Nevertheless, the reason that I chose him is because of his fortitude. With a person that has a dangerous disease like that, I do not think they can live for 55 years. But he can live until 70 years old and devote his whole life for science. That inspires me to follow my dream to be a scientist. I really admired his talent. He's a hard working person. So, despite the illness that made him tired, he still discovered lots of astounding theories that made us understandable by showing vivid illustration. I know to become a scientist like him, I have to search more about science. I like both physics and chemistry. So, I always ask my mom to buy a chemistry set. I can also come to the lab to look at my teachers and senior students. Doing experiments, it's so exciting. And I want to do it as soon as I can. I'm learning every day to become a successful scientist in the future. Thank you.